Hello and welcome to section 5 on discrete equivalence. So in this lecture we are going to look at uh, methods of, of converting a controller or a compensator from a continuous domain into a discrete domain. So an overview of what we are going to look at, introduction, which is uh, what I have described just now, impulse invariance method, numerical integration method, uh, and we are going to look at forward, backward, trapezoidal, and the stability of these methods. We're going to look at bilinear transformation and a concept called pre-warping. I uh, will also look at state space analysis, uh, zero fold matching equivalence, hold equivalence, and then a summary. So basically, the second to second last is these are the methods of, uh, these are the various methods of converting a continuous system into a discrete one. So if you look at the introduction, the dynamic response of a control system requires modification in order for the complete system to have satisfactory dynamic response. Devices that make these changes are called compensators. So compen continuous control designs are well established. So can often just find a discrete equivalent. So this is what this whole section is about, finding a discrete equivalent of continuous controllers or compensators. And this method of design is called emulation. So as I've described in my overview, from second to second last, these are the methods. And um, as you can see, these are the main approaches impulse invariant transformation, which is the transformation of a, a transfer function in S. Numerical methods, which involves numerical integration, whereby you can use methods such as forward, backward, trapezoidal. Bilinear transformation. So bilinear transformation is a special case of uh, one of these numerical methods, which is trapezoidal. And this is also known as Tustin's method. Bilinear transformation with the uh, frequency pre warping. Uh, so, this is another method with slight variation. So, bilinear transformation is a lecture on its own, which is covered in the next section, section six. Then, number five method is uh, all zero match matching, whereby we compare uh, S and Z domain poles and zeros. Uh, and then uh, the last one, which is uh, form an approximation of the signal, which is hold, hold equivalent methods. So we have briefly looked at this in the last lecture, but we are also going to look at it again more deeply in this lecture. So it says methods three, four, and five are the most effective, and method three is probably the most popular. So method three is very popular, bilinear transformations. But there is another lecture on this in the next section.